Are we live? I don't know. Somebody give me a sign <laughs> or send me a WhatsApp if I don't see it over here. Okay, I think we are. Okay. All right. Are we live? Yes. Good. Okay. I would like to talk today about something that I also feel very strongly, feeling guilty or feeling powerless. Of course, I hope you're also not watching the news too much, just the headline and spend your time on prayer. But we are in different stages. Some of us are just trying to survive at home with kids. And some of us are uh, in hell. And I think many of us feeling powerless and feeling guilty that I can enjoy my cup of coffee in the garden, some people, me, you, or that I have more space and some other people don't have. All of this is very stress giving. And I would like to go through a short process where we can um, work it out and use it in a much better way. Will you do that with me? I cannot see the comment because I have no idea where to find it. Uh, so I hope that I, I, I am coming across. All right. So um, feeling guilty is a normal thing, but it's also one of the lowest, lowest frequency of emotions. And if there is something we want to do in order to help our world in this massive transition, which I have a lot to say about, but basically we are moving from darkness into light and there is a big purging and this is very painful but we should see the total picture and not only focus on one, not only on the disaster and uh, the suffering that comes with it, but seeing that there is at the same time, a big flux of light that is coming to the earth. Um, there are many of us that are sensing this and that brings also sensation of, of joy because we knew for a year that the event is coming and here it is. Okay, it is something we find very difficult to manage, but we can use ourselves to help the part of us that is in difficulty by bringing more light. And when we are going into a frequency of guilt and shame, which in the pyramid of frequency, which you can measure scientifically, guilt and shame is on the bottom. Like the most powerless you are is when you feel guilty or ashamed. Fear is above it, uh, courage is above it, and on the top of the pyramid of frequency is love, and on the top of that is joy. Amazing. More people of us who can hold the frequency of hope or courage or love or even joy help this whole transition go better. So we all feel powerless because we we want we we want the reality to be different but actually when we can adjust fast to what is going on we can help better and what i would like you to take from this is that taking care of your own sacred space and your own ability to feel inside your inner world is what can help all of us so i think that we can just do it now. Um, I made a video with a much longer uh, meditation that is really, really divinely delicious. And I hope you're going to do that. Um, but every time when you feel a little bit slice of guilt that you can rest a little bit more than normal, or you have more time to meditate or to paint or to do something that you love, when you feel that this guilt is coming, you have to catch it. You have to squish it like this and to say, oh, thank you for your um, notification, but I don't need that in my field because I would like to help the energy to go up. And we need it even more because some forces are trying to, to take us down by spreading all of this horrific untruth. So we will be confused. But if you believe in this or if you believe in that, the answer is still the same. A person that can help hold themselves on a higher frequency 
and connect themselves to the earth and send love to the earth and send love to each other is a contributing person in a magnitude you cannot even imagine. So the only thing I would like you to do is take the guilt and squash it. You can do the Haponopono by saying, sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. You take this low frequency down or the powerlessness. I love you. Sorry. Thank you. And come back into your own sense of self. So let's do that really quickly. We do it with breath because there are some things, the moment you do in them, you are in your center. When you sing, when you dance, when you laugh, when you laugh with your kids, when you go and tickle your child, just to bring the frequency in the house better. At the same time, some things will raise their heads, all these unworked emotions and all of these unworked stories, which all of the earth is going through now. Nobody, we all knew that it's coming, the event is coming, but we didn't know in which way. And now we see that there is a total bringing up of all the karmatic pain and traumas but they are not here to stay. They are here to pass. And people who can help it pass through them, through our emotional body, mental body, spiritual body, better it is for the collective and for your family and of course for yourself. And I want you to go back to yourself. And in yourself, we want to take one big breath. Hold. And breathe it out. So I want you to think about your breath as a communication methods. If you are not aware that it's there or you're only taking a little bit, it's not the best way. If you want to help yourself, your family and our world, you have to take deep breaths that you feel that it goes all the way to your belly and all the way to your head and all the way to your chest. And just by doing that, you will put your system into a aligned in high frequency and you will not be shouting at the kids <laughs> actually their 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 behavior will change because they will feel the, the energy change you have so much power in yourself i keep saying that all the time like a broken record but it's important that just by using your intention and using your emotion you can affect the field not only in yourself but also in your house in your home and even further than that the capacity of our, our magnetic heart is, is a, a kilometer and more from yourself to the world. There is a lot of power. This is what I was talking about in inner world peace. So let's take a moment just to come closer into ourself and to clean some of the guilt because this guilt is not our friend and it's not helping anyone. So take one big breath. And I would like you even to use your hands. I know I cannot speak, stop talking with my hands, but the hands and movement, it's also energy. And I would like you to do that and have fun with it, please, because yeah, we can be silly if we want to. So let's take a breath with a little bit more drama. Yes, we'll take a breath. <sighs> Wasn't that nice? Let's have another one and think of yourself as a French diva because we want to expand that fun energy. Take another breath. Let's do it on the side. Hold. Isn't it nice? Let's take one more breath and now focus on the back of the body. Also with a little bit of flair. Wonderful, wonderful. Now you feel probably some parts of your body are like this. They're stuck and we want to break it open. Yes. So close your eyes for a second and with real great, great, great kindness, look into the parts of your body where you feel it's freaking out or it feels guilty or it's feel locked and no judgment. Be nice to yourself, yourself trying to show you where it is. Don't bash it on the head to say, where is it? And yourself is gonna say, 
ear, ear, my whole body, my head. So just listen. Take one more breath while we're listening. Oh, where is the part of the brain or the body that is a little bit feeling squashed, feeling locked, feeling guilty and powerless? And now you can see your body when you close your eyes and just imagine that area. And the part of that area, you can put your hand in there. But what we want to do now is just look at it. Like if you see the area around your throat or around your heart, just look at it and let's make it visual. Let's see which, which color. You can take it even more visual. Say to it, show me how it feels. And sometimes it will show you a difficult picture, show you that you have a piece of metal in your chest. That's visual. But you can also just sense it or hear it or feel it. So this area of your body that is now cramped with guilt and feeling powerless. So let's first have compassion to this, to this part of the body that is kind of stuck. And we all have one or even more. It's very normal, especially now. And look, there is something that is happening while you are watching. Because the power of your observation is very powerful. And let's affirm here that our intention is to create healing and liberation and freedom from the, this old heavy stuff. And now, if you can focus more on this place and see what it is showing itself as, what color it is, what, what symbolism does it use, or how it feels, or how it sounds. And just observe for a few more seconds because it starts to shift and to move. And you want now to pour into it love like if you will see your child or your pet that hurt his feet and you want to nurture that. Just send a lot of love into this area and see what happens. The colors changing. And I will also will invite the highest light of love to come and to come above our heads and trickle exactly in the best possible way into this place that is hurting with this pure and golden light. It is full of potential, full of unconditional love. We come to nurture this area of the body that feels or felt a bit stuck and just watch what's happening. And breathe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Breathe. And allow yourself to feel because maybe what you feel is heavy, but just stay with it because it's just passing through. If we don't feel it, it gets stuck. If we feel it, it moves through. And this is what you are doing for yourself because yourself is extremely important for us, for the world. Your power, your natural, original essence is magnificent. And now you allow that to come into your humanity, physicality, and you're going to do your human self and help it release some of this old stuff. And we don't even know how to go in, where it comes from and what happened, what's the story. Let's just do the pure. Mm. Good. Let's take one big, big breath and feel like there is a shower of white twinkly light that is coming around you. 
And many of us, <laughs> many of us have angels and ancestors and even galactic beings coming to support you. And you can sense that if you open on your right side, on your left side, on the back, on the top and below. Actually, what they, what they would like you to realize is that under every feet you have some angel lifting it up and both hands you have a guide holding you here and here and your whole being is being carried away through this whole experience. I hope you can enjoy this. This is so magnificent. So your job is to be able to come into this inner space where technically your brain wave is in a, uh, not the regular hectic ones. It's in, in a brain wave where you are capable of receiving and holding a lot of light which is good for your nerve system, your immune system, it's good for your family, it's good for the world. So this is the work that you need to do to feed this because your body is now going through so much upgrades. It's always going through upgrades and defense. That's what the body does. But now that we are doing a quantum leap and more time that you take to absorb this and to let it be in your life, with love and compassion and take some of these old criticism stories and flush them because we are, we are done with that. It doesn't take us where we need, you know, like we did with the guilt. Thank you. Sorry. Love you. Bye. Good. And allow yourself to expand. So you can, you can take it further if you want. You can take it further and ask for an animal that is wanting to be supporting you on this process of you learning to expand yourself into this upgrade that is happening. You are probably will see an animal. Actually, let's do that. Because what I see and sense with people is some of us are not only getting earth animals, some of us getting also mythological animals. And there is a whole thing about that, about the energies of unicorns that live on the seventh dimension. We are in a third dimension, moving through the fourth, going to the fifth. It doesn't matter. Let the energy of the animal that is supporting you in this process of you upgrading to come into view to you now, so we can bring it into our conscious life. So when we will finish this meditation, we'll take this knowledge and work with it. So let's take one. One big breath again. Mm -hmm. Let yourself feel in your body and invite the animal that comes to you to say hi. And there is love, there is interest, there is mutual respect. And just look which animal you get, because I will ask you later. So we can take it from this dream state into, into our consciousness, this animal, just because it's fun. All right, so look again into the place of your body that used to, the 10 minutes ago was a bit squashed and see what you have there. Maybe instead of black tar, suddenly you can see blue sky. Your creative imagination will show you it in this, in this visual or in sounds or in feeling. Just observe what did it change to? Okay, I feel also that some of us is getting um, support that comes into the back of our head. Funny, that's aligned with our vision. It doesn't matter what it is. It's important to acknowledge that you are willing to have more support. Take one more breath. And when you can, open your eyes. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see. Oh, yes. 
Okay, now I can see you. Okay. Now, I would like to hear what kind of animal you had that is coming to help you in this expansion. You had a regular animal, you had a mythological animal. When you can type it, I would like to see that. I'm waiting to hear because now I hear you. Are you hear me again? It's too much. Okay. All right. So I will close that now and I will try to come again just to help us move through all this emotion so you can stay in your power. And let me see if you have any animals. Okay. Christy had a cat. Oh, cats. They are wonderful for this work. Yes, I would like you also to develop your relationship with this animal because you can ask questions. And if you listen, you will learn something new, which is so fun. Okay, which other animals you had here that are uh, that came to show you and to assist you in these days to release some of the guilt and powerlessness and to open up your power and to this upgrade that is happening? I want to hear more animals. I have a dragon. I have to say I see a dragon, which is new to me. And it's kind of a yellow. I have to research what it means, but it's wonderful experience. Yes, a bird. What kind of a bird? What kind of a cat? How big? Go into the details and see, because they, they can change their appearance, but it, it means that they, they bring acorn. Oh, that's wonderful that they bring the medicine of that animal. And you know what? We are going to take now a card of animals to see what we, energetically for today, what we can do today that will make us strong and positive for tomorrow. And of course, in this time, we're taking it a day at a time because that's the only way. All right, so I'm going to ask which, which animal has a message for us today, for everyone who's watching and that will be watching that is releasing themselves from guilt and from powerlessness and opening up to their power in the way we did today. What is the message to us? Let's see what comes. It's always a surprise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, these cards. Water, spirit. You are never alone. Do you see that? You are never alone. Oh, I see more animals. That's wonderful. I see if there is a message that is specifically for us. Oh, it makes me cry. Because in this isolation, so many of us feeling alone. But if you tap into this energy, you see all these beautiful uh, energies of people are connecting. I mean, like is a field of flowers of amazing souls rising up with this energy, feeling guilty that they feel joyful or, or that there is, they can sense that something is happening. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see what the otter, okay, the otter is also one of the animals that representing the, the female um, divine feminine. Because it's in water and on earth, it's very playful, it's very family like. Okay, like true friends, otter nurture each other and express their affection through touch. <laughs> Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we are never really alone and that we are always cherished. Otter spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in the tangible and even tactile way. Communicate with your voice. Oh, it's exactly made for us. Communicate with your voice. Use your facial expressions, your gestures, and your actions. Letting your love express itself beyond just the words you speak. Order spirit's message is that presence matter. So remember to be fully present with those you care about. Help them sense the love and affection. Isn't it exactly what we're talking about? It's not only about doing things. It's also sharing emotional field of love and compassion and 
inspiration. Mm, 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 mm. So remember to be fully present with those you care about. Help them sense that love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is the time for a joyful celebration of the love in your life that express as friendships and companionship. Hug someone. Days when you're not allowed to touch. Hi, yay, yay. Hug someone. Uh, where is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Touch their arm or simply look in their eyes with your full attention saying, I care, you matter. So if you are alone, I will suggest after you wash your hands and all those things that they say, to do a self massage, to do a face massage because we need touch. And, and we will come back to the days where we're all hugging and kissing. But until then, if there's somebody you can just squish them or send them love and be in vibration of love and feel that you are being touched and touch others, that's, that's the way to go. So this is what I would like to share with you today. I hope it was helpful and you can tag a person who will need to see this because they need to be felt by you, you want them to know that you love them. We all starting to have messages that makes us worry about people we love. So share this love, share this love, but first with yourself. Go in, feed yourself, and tomorrow we'll do it again. Big love to you. And yeah, what's up?